Oro Festival, Muslims warn against religious crisis in Ogun as traditionalists impose illegal curfew. My people, hello everyone. Very well to reach you this morning. Thank you so much. Uh, whatever time we're reaching you, thank you. God bless you. Uh, the people of Ogun State, those who are traditionalists in Nigeria, if you are not a Christian, you are a Muslim or you are a traditionalist. You know, I mean, those are largely the religious group in Nigeria. And um, the Oro uh, uh, traditionalists in Ogun State are preparing for their festival. As a result of this festival they are preparing for, I've decided to say, People should stay in their houses, should not come out at some specific time. This has rather triggered an offense in the Muslim community in Ogun State, which has said that uh, they are looking for trouble and that they will get the trouble. So they are making an alarm here. I would like to hear what you think. Let's get straight into the news and get all the details. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you so much. Oro Festival, Muslims warns against religious crisis in Ogun as traditionalists impose illegal curfew. Muslims in Ikpo Ka, local government area of Ogun state, has warned against the impending religious crisis in the local government over an illegal curfew imposed by the Oro traditionalists. Speaking through an Islamic clergy imam, Abdulaziz, the Muslim community said the curfew contradicts a court judgment obtained in 2012 and an agreement signed within the religious group in Ikmuka in 20, 2019. According to the clergy popularly called Omoki, the curfew declares that the traditionalists to mark their annual Oro Oba festival in the local government is rejected. The traditionalists had in August said that they will be having the festival this year and about this time. Why appearing, appealing to the government at all levels to intervene in the matter? The clergy said the curfew, if not, if not reversed, could plunge the community and the state into religious crisis. The clergyman is the chief imam of the Oma Ban Mosque behind General Hospital which was invaded during prayers hour by the Oro in 2019. The traditionalists had in August 2019 stormed the mosque and the Muslim faithful observing afternoon prayers for their um, allegedly affected and this has contradicted them why they got a warning to observe their ritual. The mosque was left with glasses and windows shattered. The Muslim maintained that the traditionalists have since them uh, been violating the content of the agreement as said same curfew was declared last year and they made an uh, alarm to the government as well as to the court to prevent the traditionalists from holding the curfew uh, which is tied to their festival. Abdulaziz said the Oro had 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 already announced plans to hold the festival this year, daylight be beginning from Saturday, while women are not allowed movement on February from February the 14th. They express concern that the Oro adheres and the comments could lead to continuous hostility in the area by denying them their own under the guidelines, their, their right for movement in a yearly ritual that prevents them to move from place to place. He said it remains surprising that the Oro members in Ikoka local government area continue to pay a deaf ear to different plea, peace arrangement between Muslims, Christians, and traditional leaders in Ikoka. Meanwhile, restriction orders has been placed on the celebration of the Oro or Oba festival during the daytime, restricting the celebration to hold from 12 a.m. to 4 p. 4, from 12 a.m. to 4 a.m. midnight hour when people should be sleeping, so as not to have any form of conflict. That was what the court agreed. The judgment of the High Court Justice Elaro, Judiciary Division, 15th August 2017, High Court Justice of Ipoca, Judiciary Division, 38. 
January 2018 peace agreement reached among traditional and religious stakeholders in Ipoca local government area August 2019 and February 2020 all commended that the daytime celebration of Oro Festival should not be held so people can go about their lawful business without fear or favor. This, the Muslim community said, the Oro Festival members are breaking. So this is what is happening right now. Um, so in this, um, in uh, Ogun State, the traditionalists, like you heard, are planning their festival and they are really preparing. But they have uh, issued a decree out that people should, that they want to do it in the day. So like you heard the news, they've been on this matter for some time and then they've discussed it up to the extent that they had to go to court. And then um, the agreement, you, you heard the days and the dates have been stated with regards to them having their festival being celebrated. And the agreement was since they must celebrate their festival, there are Christians, Muslims and traditionalists and everyone must be respected. Your views, your position must be respected. However, in respecting your view must not undermine the other person. So they agreed that these people, um, the, this group of traditionalists can actually have their festival. But since their festival implies that people will be prevented from moving, uh, it therefore states that they should do it in the night. And the time is from that 12 a.m. to 4 a.m. That's early hours of the morning so that there is no clashes. People are not, uh, you know, people know that they are having their festival. So if you are found at that time, you are the one now breaking the law because everybody has an agreement in such a way that everybody everybody's treated fairly, if you get what I mean. So they said this has been the agreement and it has been going on fine. But I mean, now and again, according to them, you heard it, he said the traditionalist has still been breaking the breaking the, the court agreement that there is an agreement that uh, some time ago they were actually doing their afternoon prayers when the Oro Festival people came in and you know because they've already declared a curfew uh, which the Muslims did not the Muslim community did not obey they came in they destroyed the windows the glasses and the, the mosque where they were praying and it turned into something else and as such they are calling out now that you know they should and if this same coffee has not been imposed again Again, saying that this coffee we hold uh, because they are having their festival. Now they are crying out to the government and everyone who cares to listen that they are ready to defend their grounds and that there is a law already on ground to make sure that nobody infringe on the other people's rights. Guys, what do you think? What do you really think about all that is going on? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. We sincerely appreciate you. God bless you. Bye for now.